You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com. We got a, another. Guy. I'm going to do this. I'm, I think it's a good idea. We got a guy, highly educated, uh, degree in electric masters uh, in electrical engineering, looking for a job. Again, down below, if you know, hey, I got a guy looking for a guy with electrical engineering degree. This guy's the one to talk to. Hello, Aaron. I would like to remain anonymous. I've been watching some of your videos, and you, it's, you seem to give very true and realistic advice. I think I also need some advice from you about my situation. I'm from Finland. I recently finished a master's degree in electrical engineering specializing in RF and IC design. Uh, job opportunity for electrical engineer my specialization are not so uh, specialization are not so good nowadays here in Finland. When I finished my bachelor's degree I wanted to work in an industry but I couldn't be able to find any. Uh, English is a second language. I was told I would improve my chances of getting a job after a master's degree. Now that I have a master's degree and I am actively searching for a job, but I am unable to find a job in my field. I'm now being told by my professor that I should do a PhD and it will improve my chances of finding a job. Sure, your professor is going to recommend that. Look, let's stop right now. You, you got, this is a real profession here. This is not some bullshit degree, all right? So you got a, ma you got a bachelor's degree. And they say, oh, that's not enough. Then you get a master's degree. And, oh, it's not enough. Yeah, when is it enough? All right, a bachelor should be more than enough. What, what you probably have to do is apply for more jobs. And maybe not just in Finland, but outside of Finland. So before you spend another two years getting a PhD, why don't you put in just a fraction of that effort and start applying for jobs in the EU, United States, some other place. You got a master's. You can, you can always get your PhD later. But I'd imagine you got to be sick of school by now. And you say that you want to go and you want to work. I don't blame you much. But, but before, the, the professors have every reason to sell you on going back for more school. And even though normally this doesn't happen in STEM, it happens more in the liberal arts. Well, you didn't get a job with your bachelor's, you need a master's. Didn't get a job with your bachelor's, you need a doctorate. Stop. Change tactics. All right? You got a master. I think that's enough. I think that's enough education. All right? And again, a good plan B, get your doctorate and then you go teach and research. All right? If you want to do that. Uh, but since you want to work, now put as much effort into getting a job as you did your education, which is a lot. Six years, daily studying, daily research. I'd imagine you put a lot of effort into it. Did you put the same amount of effort into applying for jobs? And did you come up with enough creativity of applying in different places? Because you say the jobs aren't good in Finland. Well, fuck, Finland's like, what, five million people? I mean, go to the United Kingdom, go to Europe, go apply elsewhere gotta be cold up there you know I you want some sun go down to Spain see see what's going on there I always imagined Spain would be nice I thought Italy I thought I'd really get well with Italy I did not enjoy Italy I just didn't it looked nice but it, but until you got close and you saw just what it stated disrepair it was in all right uh, education is completely free here in Finland so a bachelor's and master's degree I did without any loans the department pays 2,400 euros per month as a salary for a PhD candidate, which is not bad, uh, bad compared to the 3,500 euros that an entry-level engineer with a master's degree would get in the industry. But I have no interest in going into the academic field. I want to find a job and work in the industrial sector. While in studying, I was working part-time at a cleaning company, which paid for my housing. Look at this guy. He's fucking working in the daytime, too. Good work at the guys. Anybody got a job for this guy? Comments down below. Uh, now I have finished my engineering degree, I would like to work in an engineering field. I'm still working at the cleaning company, now working full time. I'm thinking of either taking up the PhD position or changing my career to IT field. Doing a PhD will have the risk that what if I end up in the same situation as now, as unable to find a job then as well. Now if I go to IT, I need to do a bachelor's again, and my six years of electrical engineering be a complete way. You're not even giving yourself a shot. You ha Look. I can't believe you can't find a job in this world with your electrical engineering degree. Don't don't go and get a completely new degree when the one you have is perfectly good. You just need to apply for jobs. And it sucks. It sucks. All right? But do yourself at least provide yourself with the self-respect to go and make sure that you know you major in electrical engineering, you presumably like electrical engineering. Give yourself the shot you deserve. Go and try and find a job. Jobs don't just fall out of the sky. They really don't. I researched my 
contacting various companies and found that to work in the IT field and progress the career as a, success, as a successful IT professional, I would need to have a university degree in IT or computer science. No one, at least of all the companies I contacted, and I contact about 20 software companies, seems to hire someone without an IT degree. Well, yeah, it's because you're going with software companies. You're not, go to industrial. What is Saab? Isn't Saab across the street over in Sweden? I can't just go over there. I mean, Saab's got to hire a Volvo. Which ones? They're both crap. <laughs> I just, they're the ugliest, ugliest vehicles ever. But I'd imagine they're hiring. Unilever's big out there. Can you go to Unilever? In, in um, Europe, I mean. Uh, I was told by all they would give preference to IT degree even though electrical engineering is closely related to the IT field. Yeah, but it's not, it's not the same field. You advise, many, you advise many people to take an IQ test. I took an IQ test from the Stanford Bennett thingy. And I got 162 points. <laughs> so this led me to worry, like, are, are you like a social recluse? Are you socially awkward? What do you suggest I do? Should I take the PhD position or should I change my career to something like IT or should I move somewhere else? You should move somewhere else. Well, don't move. You know, keep working your job, but apply for jobs overseas. I would put moving other place the last option because my wife is native Finnish and she doesn't want to leave. Well, fuck! I'm not native Finnish. I came here to study here in a bachelor's degree and fall in love with a local girl. And of course, I don't want to leave her. All right, well, okay. I want your advice, video format. Bada, 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 ba. All right. Look, what's more important to you, the girl or the career? Obviously, the girl is, but you just busted your ass off to get this degree in electrical engineering. The real hookup is the girl. She better have some amazing fucking job for you to have wasted this amount of time. Because if she, if you're going to get this degree and you're not allowed to go and capitalize on it, it's going to be pointless for you to start getting other degrees that you can't capitalize on because you're relegated to Finland. I would have a serious chat with your wife. I mean, look, do you guys have kids? If you don't have kids, go explore, go travel around. Um, you know, is she a doctor? Is she, is she a surgeon? Is she an engineer? Because then go live on her, live off of her. If you can't find a job, and she's like, you know, well, you can't leave. That's your, that's your big hang-up. Um, I also asked you about, you know, your social life, like, because I'm picturing 100, 162 IQ. Usually, though, not always. You're a weirdo. You're a freak. And I see some pictures here. No, you're a clean cut. You're actually a good-looking dude. No homo. Um, yeah, you look, you look normal. Uh, and then you talked about your social life, so you are going out, you are having fun, you're married. Um, so it's not, it's not like, you know, a lot of these nerds, they don't go out, they don't know how to talk to other people, you obviously do, so it's not that. It, I, I know it goes against you, but you're going to have to talk to your wife and say, look, why are we here? We can always come back to Finland. But for you to capitalize on this degree, you have to allow yourself to apply to the remaining... 7.2 billion people on the planet instead of the 5 million people that live in Finland. And if your wife isn't going to allow you to leave Finland, well, then I wouldn't pursue any more education because it's going to be a waste. You won't be able to sell yourself to the global economy. You'd have to start looking at self-employment. You could do IT that, you know, want to go back for more school. But if, if you're not going to be able to get your wife to say, hey, let's go move around, you got two ideas as far as I can tell. One, you go into IT, but I would not get a bachelor's degree. I would start just getting the certifications and self-teaching. You don't need to go to school anymore, okay? Especially if you're sick of it. Two, I would get the PhD because then at least you can teach. And there's got to be some nonprofit bullshit or the European Space Agency or something. But what's really tragic is you got an IQ of 162 with the ability to be social and normal. That doesn't happen. You should be, if there was any justice in this world, you should be working for NASA. You should be working for some high-end, either think institute agency or some company at the, at the frontier, at the cutting. You should be working for Elon Musk. That's where you should be working. But if your wife, if you can't get your wife to let you go, and there's nothing I can do about that. There really isn't. That's your biggest hurdle. Um, <clears throat> I mean, here's my question. Tell me, please tell me she's in STEM. Please tell me she's like, don't tell me you just went for hot blonde looks. 
Don't tell me she's just a cute set of tits, majored in liberal arts, and won't let you, and now she's working as like some sociologist or social worker, some bullshit made up government job, and you both are making piss poor money because you can't find a job. Meanwhile, this incredibly raw talent you have is just going to be pissed away. Please don't tell me it's that situation. But I would, you know, yeah, keep looking in Finland, but if you can't get your wife to let you go and apply other places around the world, you know, why put any more, why invest any more? Why? No reason to. So then you might as well become a PhD because it's free and you get paid. Okay? Not what you like to do, but it's something you can do and you get paid. And then you can teach. Um, it, it's not going to hurt you. But, you know, I, I, it's just you're, you're limiting yourself to such a small playing field. And then, um, yeah, IT, I, I'd, I'd postpone. I mean, yeah, you can if you want. But it's just, without without your wife letting you achieve your most, I mean, you, I can't get excited about your prospects or options. It's kind of like, well, what do you do that pays the most? And then, okay, you can lie around. It's just, it's, it's a tragedy. You're not going to be able to achieve the absolute most that you absolutely could. So, yeah, given that situation, I go with the PhD. Keep applying for jobs, please, you know, if you can in Finland. Maybe do some contract work if you can. But, um, yeah, unless you are able to convince your girlfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, that uh, you guys really got to move and go where the money is, um, it's, it's, you, you are going to limit yourself. And trust you me, women, I'd have to know more about her, but women, um, they'll say, they, oh, I have to stay here with it. No, men got to tell women, no, we're going to go do X, Y, and Z. Although it may be too late because you may have set the tone already that wifey determines everything and you're fucked. So, yeah, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to do the Ph.D. position. Keep applying for jobs. It pays more. And if you want to get into IT, go start studying on the side, get your certifications. But I wouldn't go back to school for, for IT. You've been in school too damn long. So, anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.